Hello everyone, welcome uh, to the BigTime Labs. Uh, we are here to present uh, uh, a new application, new app, made just with the app method. And this app is uh, a new controller for our new two mini cars here we bought on, uh, on Amazon. Daniele, hello. Daniele developed the, uh, the application. This is an application for uh, uh, an exhibition. Yes, the, tomorrow we will be at the code motion uh, uh, session in Rome and we have to show this uh, kind of integration with the third part hardware and uh, app method uh, development tool. Okay, so who was the idea? Daniele, you got the idea of the mini. Yeah. What, uh, uh, what is the uh, communication that you have with the phone? How do you communicate? Uh, we communicate by Bluetooth. Uh, I uh, use an Android app to sniff the Bluetooth packets oh, and okay. then we, we send the input for uh, control the mini. So we did some piracy for doing that? Yes. Yeah. Yes, okay. We are now going to see how it works with Daniele and Daniele, the big time Daniele's. <laughs> <laughs> Daniele and Daniele showing the uh, application. Okay, go on. Uh, this is the application that uh, is uh, driving the, the Bluetooth device and uh, you can choose the, the car, the first one, the second one. You can tap on the car, now the Bluetooth is connecting to that Mac, Mac address. Um, uh, next version there will be also the browsing for all the pair of Bluetooth devices. And this is the, <coughs> the interface that can control the, the car. And you can drive it using forward, back, left, right. And also it is implemented the multi-touch functionality. So you can go forward and left, or back and right, or any combination. This is a particularly interesting because it uh, um, has been uh, wrapped the uh, native API for iOS and Android to use the multi-touch uh, information, the multi-touch, multi-points, with mm, until 10 points of touch on the on the display and uh, in this way we can drive the car as uh, it should be so you can go uh, forward and uh, using the steering to go, to go left and right okay one question yeah because we're talking about building fast how long it took to create this application it is fantastic we uh, we took the more or less 7 8 hours to build complete application, multi-threaded application and multi-touch enabled application that drives two cars. And this run on iOS, Android, Windows and uh, Mac? Yes, currently it's built only for Android, but yes, it can run on uh, iOS, Windows and Mac. Over the exhibition, okay, what is the purpose of this application, what it demonstrates? Uh, good questions, good points. We have to demonstrate how this simple, it's very simple to integrate uh, Bluetooth devices with app methods development tool. It is really, really, really simple that we have a um, very high level uh, interface to, uh, that we can wrap it and use all the standard technology to do so the You use a, a component. Uh, there is there is no uh, um, actual component, but it's really simple to do it. It okay. is not drag and drop component, but you can use it in a really simple uh, simple way, and you can use it to to interface the device, to read barcode, to read uh, something, to to misuse something in healthcare. Uh, so we are talking about your phone talking with other hardware. Yeah, that's yeah. the the, the with part. The, the interesting thing is that if you have a good interface. You can use it using app method. Yeah, but why? Why should you use app method instead of another tool to develop? Because, uh, because it's simpler, it's faster, and it's cross-platform. It's enough. Okay, and it's native. Yeah, true native. True native. The, the application. So the actual code run on the directly device. on the CPU. Okay. There is no virtual machine script. Uh, uh, too much layer abstraction. Your code runs actually on the CPU. Okay, so this is good. That's uh, fantastic. Okay. <laughs> so we are ready for code motion, ready for exhibition, ready for show up. Up method to all the exciting developer of uh, uh, mobile application. Okay. See you at the code motion.